Hello folks, we got a 2009 June uh, MacBook 15 inch Pro that just came out a couple weeks ago that I am upgrading to a newer, bigger hard drive. This is the Western Digital 500 gig Scorpio Blue hard drive. It's one of the fastest hard drives out, even though it's 5400 RPM, it still has the best performance out of all the ones that's been out so far. So we are going to install this guy into this. So what you need to do obviously before you do this is back up all your data and to an external drive and once that's done you can start taking it apart. Now obviously when you take any data apart make sure you start with caution and uh, you know just take your time if you've never done anything like this before. Basically all you need to do is take out all, all these screws and all the corners. So what I'm going to do is, I got this kit from OWC. It's a great little kit. It comes in handy. It fits all screws perfectly. This is a Phillips Zero Zero screwdriver. So you need to use that to pull the screws out. And what I would recommend doing is putting all these screws in the same position around like you have around the laptop so you make sure you put them exactly in the same hole because they're all different sizes but here we go now obviously make sure you keep touching the metal so in case you have any type of static electricity it gets rid of it This is really, really easy. But then again, I've been working in computers for 20 years, so... And just to make note, a lot of the screws are angled, so you kind of have to angle the screwdriver when you put it in them. It's not straight up and down. So now all you gotta do is work on getting this cover off. A lot of times the first time it comes off it's a little difficult, but since this is the second time it should come off a little easier. Yeah, there we go. Cover's off. You put that aside. Here's the hard drive we gotta pull out, so I'm gonna turn this guy around. Memory, got the one fan on the 15 inch. The 17 inch has two fans. Here's the built-in battery. CD-ROM and the, the Hitachi hard drive. So we are going to replace this back. There's two screws here on a bracket you have to remove. They're Phillips head screws. All I need to do, they do not come out. So all I need to do is just loosen them up. And once they're completely loose, you just pick up the bracket. There it is, that side. Now this little tab here helps you lift up the hard drive. You need to be careful when you lift it because there is going to be a ribbon cable underneath this that you will have to disconnect from the hard drive. So go ahead and pull it up. I'll show you the ribbon cable. There it is, very flimsy, so you need to be careful with that. All you need to do is grab this on the end and just kind of slowly work it out. And there you go. It's a hard drive. And here's the new one. Now some of you, you can remove this from the hard drive, this little clip, and you don't have to. If you really don't want to, just leave it. Because if you want to take it back to Apple, they may notice by pulling it off and putting it on the new one that it was uh, pulled off. But now we need a T6 to get these tiny little torques. 
guys off here and put them on that new hard drive. do is do one at a time, kind of keep it same distance in the same spot. Uh, comparison, here's the stock hard drive, and here's the new one. It's actually a little heavier, obviously, because it's got more space and probably not a platter. But just to compare the difference. There you go. Okay. Let's put the new Western Digital in here. So all we need to do is grab the cable and plug it in the same way it came off. Just make sure it lines up good. Put your fish on. There you go, it's pushed on. Now, right here, you got a little slot this guy sits into. So basically, what you have to do is slide it in this way and then lower it down. And there we go. See, you really don't need that, that plastic thing. You can grab it without it. It just makes it easier. But I'm going to leave it on the original hard drive for any reason I have to take it back to Apple. So. Now we put this back on. Get your Phillips and just tighten it back up. Pretty much go back the same way you started from. Okay, now the hard drive's in there good. Put the cover back on. Real nice fit. Put back around for when I took it apart so I should get all the screws in the exact same spot. I usually like doing the two center ones first. Okay, so main ones that hold it straight. And I work my way around. Folks, that completes this process on the new MacBook Pro 2009 model with the new hard drive upgrade.